Hi folks, so we've gone um, concerning the Quran and we're looking at how to critique the Quran um, and, the, and the saying that the Quran is the word of God and we looked at uh, Shia versus Sunni and that the, the Shia said that the Quran has changed that is something that you can exploit in a debate at Hyde Park and you need to do it um, and in a discussion with Muslims uh, wherever you are talk about the Shia Muslim Sunni issue and bring in the Shia scholars that have said that the Quran has changed secondly uh, we looked at a Muslim scholar who said there are copying mistakes and then thirdly we looked at chain of narration that in their own hadiths the story that Muslims bring up today that the Quran has not changed and has been passed on is proved wrong by the chain of narration uh, in in the in the hadiths. Um, now I want to talk about manuscripts, Quranic manuscripts. Um, I did some. We'll go into chain of narration uh, later on. Uh, Chain of narration is the idea that the Quran has been passed on from generation to generation uh, verbally. I want to talk about um, Quranic manuscripts. I did some research on this, and you could do your own research. But uh, and you'll have to do your own research on this to, to check whether I'm, I'm, I'm right in what I'm saying. But the manuscripts of the ancient Qurans that we have, uh, they're not fully all, all there. You know, we don't have all the verses of these ancient Qurans. So if we have an ancient Quran, there'll be verses missing. So you need to bring this up. Say, has the Quran been preserved? And they'll say yes. And you'll say, well, have we got manuscripts where it's been preserved? They'll say, yeah. Are all the verses in the in, in, in the manuscripts? And they'll probably say, yeah. And if they do, then you can show them that there are Quranic manuscripts with verses missing. In the top Kapi Mushaf, or the top Kapi Museum, Istanbul, Turkey, early mid 8th century, Professor Dr. E.K. Meldin, Founding director of R I R C I C A, 1980-2004, and secretary general of the organization of the Islamic Conference Research Center said, "We have none of Uthman Musaf's manuscripts, nor do we have any of the copies from the Musafs." And then Dr. Taya uh, Al Tikolak, leading scholar of Quranic studies ex-president of Turkish Religious Affairs and deputy in the Turkish Parliament says no serious scholarly work has been done on them these Musafs date from the early 8th century they are not Uthmak, Uthmanic nor copies sent by him the top copy has 2270 consonal differences and 22 but this is the bit that I want to emphasize 22 percent of the Quran is missing I went on Cor uh, Corpus Quranicus, which is a secular outfit, to check this, and they said that there were two sheets missing from this Quran. And then, you know, there are other scholars that say there are other verses missing as well. So, we have the. Um, Samarak and manuscript or the Tashkent early mid 8th century and Dr. Taya Al Tikolak says it's not Uthmic and it dates from 8th century. He says undisciplined spelling, different writing styles, scribal mistakes, copyist mistakes written by someone with little experience. 60% 60, 60 of the Quran is missing. Al Husseini Cairo manuscript. Dr. Taya Al Tikolak, this is not Uthmanic, it's dated from early 8th century. 
Francis uh, de Rock says, monumental MS are later, the bigger the later. And uh, I went on Islamic Awareness, checked this manuscript, so Islamic Awareness is a Muslim outfit, and checked about this manuscript, and they acknowledged that pages were missing from this Quran. The Paris uh, Petro Plitanus, early 8th century. Francis uh, de Rock says corrections to the text, disagrees with the Carian Musaf in 93 places. Five different copies, 74% of the Quran is missing. So I did some detailed research on a number of these ancient Qurans. I went and checked the sources. The reverse is missing, and so I don't know if you can read uh, some of those manuscripts there. I don't know if you can, anyhow. Okay, so that's just uh, three uh, manuscripts that I checked. But I, I checked others. I went on uh, islamicawareness.org and the Quranic manuscripts and looked at their article, extensive article that they had, checked it with them, uh, I checked it at Kapok, Cor uh, Quranicus Corpius, checked it with them, uh, Corpus Quranicus, uh, Corpus Quranicus is a secular German outfit, uh, checked it with them, so I checked it with the Islamic source, I checked it with the secular source, and basically, uh, as you look at these ancient Qurans, that they often have verses missing, and it's not what the Muslims are telling you, okay, uh, I can't give you all the detailed information there, um, but what I'm saying is, if you do your own research, look into it in more detail, um, when the Muslims say that the Quran has been perfectly preserved, the manuscripts show that the reverse is missing, show that um, there's no perfect manuscript, and that's the issue. So you cannot say categorically that the Quran has been perfectly preserved. You need to qualify that. What do you mean by that? If you're saying it's been perfectly preserved, um, then the manuscripts have to show a kind of perfection, and they don't. They're human productions, and they'll have mistakes in them. All right. Now that doesn't mean to say the Quran hasn't been preserved. This is the point. But what it does mean to say is this mythology that the Muslims have produced, produced that as if that they've got this uh, massive perfection in the transmission it's just totally bogus there's no perfect transmission there's fallible human beings who are imperfect who make mistakes so therefore we have to begin to do textual criticism and when we do textual criticism we can find the text and it's been preserved but that's not what the Muslims are saying the Muslims are saying that their Quran is perfect perfectly uh, absolutely perfectly transmitted and the manuscripts prove that's a categorical lie because no manuscript is, is perfect we have not one manuscript in history that has ever been written down perfectly uh, when it's been copied okay because there will always be human error so we'll, what we have to do is gather the manuscripts and yeah the manuscripts has been the original manuscripts have been preserved Yes, but the copies are not perfect. The Muslims are saying that their Quran has been perfectly passed on and their manuscripts are showing that that's not the case. So there's a subtle but very important distinction there. One is intellectual honesty, the other is just pure mythology. And that's the Islamic position, a uh, kind of uh, pure mythology. Uh, if you want to 
look at a Christian's point of view, uh, type in Arthur Jeffrey. And Arthur Jeffrey, if you read his articles and his books, he will show you the variance, the textual variance on the Quran. Okay? He will show you the textual variance on the Quran. So I did my own research. I, I went and checked Quranus, uh, Corpus Quranicus. I went and checked Islamic Awareness. I went and checked other Islamic scholars who were experts in the field. And I just did a little fact checking. And I found that these manuscripts have 22% missing in the Quran, 60% missing in the Quran, um, spelling mistakes, differences of style, uh, copyist mistakes, etc. All right. Now that's just a little bit of digging. If I did more digging, I would find more issues there. Now this is research that you can do yourself, uh, and Muslims will not want to hear it at Hyde Park, but it will have a powerful impact if you can do some research and disseminate that information, disseminate that information at Hyde Park and around the country. So I think a good place to start, from a Christian point of view, is Arthur Jeffrey. Arthur Jeffrey. Uh, and look at his articles and, and literature on on the Quran. All right, so he's a late. Uh, he's not a modern scholar, but it's a good place to start and get information. Okay. So we'll go into the next video.